All right, let's take you through a grounding exercise. So go ahead and close your eyes and take a few deep breaths. In through the nose and out through the mouth. If you need to kind of shake out your body a little bit, you can do that. Keep breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth. I want you to picture the energy coming from way above the top of your head. You can go out as far as you want into the universe galaxy or even just up and out into the sky wherever you are when you've picked your point I want you to energetically like grab and hold on to that energy and pull it down pull it down through the top of your head and by the way this is just pure energy for your best and highest good universal energy okay you're pulling it down into your physical body through the top of your head and we'll be traveling down your face keep breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth deep breaths <sighs> And just see this energy cascading down, down your neck, your shoulders. When it hits your armpit, some of that energy is going to um, branch off and go down your arms and out your fingertips while the rest travels down your torso, your heart, your stomach area, and you can tap into the chakras if you want as you go. I'm not really doing that right now, but your chakras, your hips, your pelvic floor, and then down your legs. ankles, feet, and this energy is going out each of your toes and then also down and out the bottom of your feet and into the earth's core. So wherever your feet are right now, you can have them planted firmly on the ground. I don't really personally feel that matters because you're visualizing so you can I'm sitting cross-legged right now <laughs> so you can just pull you're just seeing that energy go down into the earth's core and when you're in the earth's core just notice what you see what does the earth's core look like to you whatever it looks like is perfectly fine for me I see roots I see dirt um, it's very brown dirt today sometimes it's reddish brown I see rocks and boulders and pebbles. You may see spiritual, mystical beings. That's perfectly fine. Keep breathing. And what you're doing is you're taking this energy down your feet and out into the Earth's core to the other side of the Earth's core from wherever you are. So you don't actually have to physically, mentally know your geography. You're just visualizing that it's going through wherever you are on the Earth's core, to the center of the Earth's core, and then to the other side. Keep breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth. When you finally see yourself and this energy at the other side of the Earth's core, I want you to anchor and tie off this energy somewhere. I personally always um, pick like a kettleball, which is a weight that has a handle on it, a loopy handle. So I picture a big rock 
um, something really sturdy and then like a handle. So you're actually going to tie and tether um, off this energy to this whatever you picture. So it can be the it could be a root, it could be a rock, it can be a tree, it can be the earth itself, just whatever feels good to you. So when that energy is secure, I want you to follow that line of energy that we just took down there. And you're going to follow that line of energy back up through the earth's core. All while breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth. And through the earth's core, back up the bottom of your feet. And you're bringing this earth's core energy with you. So what does the earth core energy look like to you? Like for me today, it's really dark brown, muddy, like earth, earth tone, right? Previous to this moment, I'd been um, seeing reddish brown and pulling that energy up. So whatever that energy is looking like and feeling like for you, I want you to pull that up. And once it hits the bottom of your feet, some of it's going to um, branch off and go out your toes. And the rest of it's coming up your feet, your ankles, your leg, your knees. So you can kind of notice... Um, where this energy is hitting you as we go up, just kind of hit all the spots, <laughs> your hips, your torso, your heart. When I hit your armpit again, some of it is branching off and going down your arms and out your fingertips. Up the neck, shoulders, back of the head, don't forget the back of the head, up the face, forehead, and then back out the top of the head, the crown chakra, back up and out the way it came in. So this is this earth energy. And when you feel ready, you can open your eyes and begin to go um, about your business. This does not have to take as long as it just took. What are we at? Seven minutes. So you can literally do this in a couple minutes time and find the best time of day for you to do it and do it regularly. And or if you are feeling um, discombobulated or out of sorts or um, stressed out, you can always revert back to this grounding exercise. And the more you do it, the faster it'll be. And if you want to start bringing in, um, I actually was holding, <laughs> I meant to use this, um, black tourmaline, and I have an amethyst um, rock here as well. I like to um, ground with these as well. They kind of, they do um, like a spiral um, energy combination coming down through the crown chakra. So if you want to use um, crystal infused um light energy as you come down and begin the exercise through the top of your head that is great these are really good black tourmaline is a really really good grounding stone you can carry it with you as well um, and then of course amethyst is a great stone for healing as well as um, intuition and to me it just feels like a really personal stone to me kind of to bring out your personal best um, that's my own definition of it so you can definitely use a amethyst as well. So go ahead and let me know how this goes in the comments and I will see you next time.